Since the mid-19th century, a school of organists has specialized in the art of solo improvisation. They have used it in churches and basilicas, where at each service many of the interludes are improvised. Every Saturday evening, during the sortie, an improvisation is played by Naji Hakim, organist at Le Sacre Coeur. La tradition de l'improvisation a survécu dans la liturgie, à la différence du monde instrumental en général, parce que alors que dans la musique instrumentale, tout petit à petit a été noté, les cadences des concertos étaient euh, fixées par les compositeurs, dans le monde de l'orgue, dans le monde de la musique liturgique, en raison de la fonction euh, de l'orgue dans la liturgie, l'organiste continue à improviser. Dans l'église catholique, différents moments de la messe euh, sont euh, ponctués par l'intervention de l'orgue qui doit tenir compte des, des contraintes de temps qui sont prévues pour son intervention. Certainement, mon improvisation est une, est une offrande c'est une offrande que je fais au Seigneur, et bien entendu, il faut qu'elle soit la plus belle possible. Je fais de mon mieux. Je ne dis pas que chaque fois c'est des merveilles, mais c'est mon offrande. Et c'est pour moi un, un moment très important de la semaine et de mon existence.
the expressive power of improvisation, its ability to evoke, to communicate, serves many faiths. Garlic psalm singing has survived in the Isles of Harris and Lewis in the Scottish Hebrides since at least the 17th century. For the islanders, it is more than singing. The personal expression, decoration and individual phrasing takes them beyond the usual rituals and rigidities of religious worship. singing is now peculiar to the highlands and islands more so of Scotland. I don't think it originated with us. I think that at one time, say 200 years ago, throughout most of Scotland, the same pattern would be followed. It was because in those days, few people had access to a Bible. And even if they had access to it, they couldn't read it. All knowledge was transmitted orally, whether were secular, sacred, topical, traditional, what have you. So I think it was natural that church singing would be in the same way. The isolation and severity of the surroundings and the harshness of their working lives has led many younger members of this community to leave the islands. But amongst those who stay, there is a strong commitment to their past. Garlic psalm singing is a survival from another time, but is still a perfect musical reflection of the beauty and bleakness of the landscape. 